Hello. This is a video on the cube octahedron. In the Archimedean solid series, I'm showing how the 13 Archimedean solids can be derived from the five platonic solids. The cube octahedron comes from the cube and the octahedron by a process which is called rectification. Here we have the cube and the octahedron, and these both lead to the cube octahedron. Here is another view of the cube octahedron, and you'll notice that it is made up of triangles and squares. Now let's use the Truncate, Expand, and Snubify website to see how to get the cube octahedron. We're going to be using the truncate applets, so I'm going to come down here to the cube. In a previous video, we saw how we can use this to cut off the corners, which is called truncation. And if we go to the point that is one-third of the way along the edge, we get the truncated cube. Well, if we continue this truncation process all the way to the midpoint, this is called rectification. Sometimes I call it truncating all the way. Let me show that again. Here's the original cube. Here's truncating a little bit. Here's truncating about one-third of the way. And here's truncating all the way to the midpoint. This is the cube octahedron. Notice that the original square sides became square sides, but they're turned. Now let's see what happens when we rectify the octahedron. Here's the original octahedron. Now I will truncate this octahedron. There's the truncated octahedron. And if I truncate all the way to the midpoint, we get the cube octahedron. So, this could have been called the truncate, I'm sorry, could have been called the rectified cube, or it could have been called the rectified octahedron, so that there wouldn't be an argument between the cube and the octahedron. We called it the cube octahedron. Now here are some questions. Here's the original cube with its features. 3 is the degree vertex, which is the number of edges meeting at a vertex and the number of faces meeting at a vertex. 4 sides on each face, 6 faces, 12 edges, and 8 vertices. Over on the right-hand side is the cube octahedron. You'll notice that there are two types of faces. If you do the type 1 face to be the faces that are resulting from the original squares, and they're also going to be squares, N1 here will be 4, because the number of sides on that type of face is 4. Type 2 will be these triangle faces, which means N2 will be 3. Pause the video now and answer these questions. Now, for extra practice, I'm going to give you some additional questions. As I mentioned, the cube octahedron can be found also from rectifying the octahedron. So, the final number of faces, edges, and vertices that we get over here should be the same as what we got on the previous slide. But what you might want to do with this one is have type 1, N1 here, be the faces that are resulting from the original faces. In other words, triangles become triangles, so N1 would be 3. And N2 would be 4 because the second type is a square, which means the number of sides is 4. As an option, pause the video now and think of the cube octahedron as the rectified octahedron. I hope you enjoy learning the interesting properties of the Archimedean's